seat's new standalone performance brand, Cupra, has revealed its 296 bhp all-wheel drive version of the Ica, the first model to be launched since seat confirmed its hot sub-brand's new role last month. The car is part of a broader offensive to offer Cupra versions of some seat models as well as, eventually, Cupra-only cars. Seat is trying to copy the example of in-house performance divisions like Renault Sport. It will launch seven models by 2020 as part of aggressive growth plans. The brand's sales and marketing boss Wayne Griffiths said that splitting from Seat was important for brand value. In terms of positioning it adds more to go with a separate brand, he said. If we kept it in the Seat world there would always be compromises. We want to take it out of the Seat world to the racetrack. Most firms that have sporting brands take them out of heritage, like a bar. But we want to look to the future. Opinion, why Cooper split from seat? Cooper models will be based on seats, for the foreseeable future, at least, but with significantly higher performance, more customization options and a separate sales channel. Only about one-fifth of Seat's dealer network will be awarded Cooper sub Fran Cooper emerged not just as a business discussion, he said. This is a declaration of love for motoring, in a society becoming a bit unfriendly to the sector. The Cuperca, on sale in the autumn, is powered by a 296 bhp version of the Volkswagen Group CA888 2.0-liter turbocharged engine although the torque peak of 295 pounds-foot is higher than that produced by the similar engine in the Leon Cupra 300. Drive passes through a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. There are no plans for a manual version, with torque diverted rearwards when required by a part-time Haldex all-wheel drive system. Cooper claims a 5.4 seconds 0 to 62 miles per hour time and a 150 miles per hour top speed. Chises and models are set to be sold by specialists from Cupra-only areas.